Hey, Pascal. Obviously, defense is such a big part of what you guys do uh, as a team, um, sort of your, your calling card as a team last year. Um, how close was last night's game to, to what you guys expect on the defensive end? And what do you think the difference was last night from some of the previous games in terms of what you were able to do on that end? Um, I just think that, you know, we had a lot more communication. Um, it was just kind of like on a string and, and, you know, helping each other. I think that's what we felt our best. Um, and then again, you know, um, just trying to figure that out, working together, communicating. Um, I think that's the most important part. And obviously the effort got to be there, but um, I just think that, you know, we communicated well and, uh, you know, we was kind of like on the same page. One of the things that Stanley was talking about after the game yesterday is that it, it took him a little bit of time last year to, to pick up the defensive system that you guys play and that he's only recently started to really feel comfortable in it. Um, how tough is this system to, to learn and to pick up? How nuanced is it? And, and what sort of makes it, I guess, mo uh, most unique or, or tricky to pick up? Uh, I mean, I just think that, you know, there's a lot of different things, you know, different rules that we have. And, um, you know, maybe like on other teams, you know, it's, it's a little different. And, and, and I think that for us, just kind of like flying around, helping each other, um, contesting, you know, flybys and like different things that we do that, you know, maybe a lot of teams don't do. Um, so I just think that, you know, um, he's been doing well. He's been doing well, kind of like, you know, being that, that, you know, bringing that energy and defense and, and also just, you know, understanding what we do. And again, we all getting better every single game, um, figuring it out. And, and, you know, obviously with new personnel, we got, you know, we got to every, make sure everything matches well together. And, and again, like you said, defense is what we, you know, something that we take pride on. And, and, and I think we got to keep doing that. Great. Thanks, Pascal. Enjoy the rest of the day. Next question goes to Stephen Long from Sportsnet. Hey, Pascal. Thanks for doing this. Um, obviously, it looks like you guys have now kind of settled in, like uh, winning three games in a row. Uh, has has anything demonstrably changed in, in the locker room in terms of mood com compared to like the start of the season to to now? Um, again, like losing is not fun, so it's kind of it's kind of tough, you know. Um, but 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 again, I think just knowing that you know there were so many games that we could have won that we didn't win, you know, we, we kind of know that we're not far off. But at the same time, um, you know, we just got to keep being focused. And, and, and again, like we got a lot of games to make up for. And, and for us, it's just focusing on that, like taking, you know, obviously game by game and, 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 and trying to get better each game. Um, but I mean, the, the mood is, is you know, it's is, is around the same, but obviously losing sucks. So, you know, you can't be happy when you're losing games. And but again, like, Winning gives a little bit of boost and, and, and it definitely helps. Uh, uh, as you said, like like losing sucks, but but do, do you almost like learn a little bit more about your team like through those losses, like then then through wins, or does that not matter at all? Uh, I think you learn about everybody when you lose. <laughs> I think you learn from you know from media to fans to to teammates to coaches, like front office. I think it's just it's a whole thing because again, everyone is you know, um, frustrated, you know, everyone's feeling some type of way. And, um, you know, that's what losing does. Like, and, 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 and again, we got to find ways to um, continue to, you know, take the good, you know, with, the, you know, with some of the bads and, and, and learn from, from the bads and, and, and make sure that um, we get better and, and we don't start pointing fingers or we don't start like, you know, looking at each other um, and, 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 you know, trying to find someone to blame, you know, kind of like understanding what we're doing wrong, what we can get better in as a team, as an organization, and um, and just continuing to, to, to move forward, work hard. And again, I think as long as we give all the efforts, you know, out there, I think that's the most important thing. And, um, you know, I think we've been doing that. A lot of games have been decided by one or two points, you know, a um, little bounce here and, and, you know, it's a different record. So uh, just understanding that and um, and not, not letting ourselves kind of like getting to, you know, all the, again, losing sucks, I'll say it again. Um, you know, so it's tough, but at the same time, we got to stay together uh, as a team and make sure that, you know, um, we move forward and, and, you know, there's a lot, a lot more basketball left to play. And, um, you know, we just got to focus on that. That's a lot, Pascal. Have a great afternoon. Next question goes to Eric Kareen from The Athletic. Hey, Pascal. Good afternoon. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, you mentioned flyby contests. I asked Nick about it yesterday. 
Um, and he said, judging when and when not to is actually a very difficult thing. So just for yourself, when you're considering the contest you're going to do on a, on a shooter, what goes into the decision to, you know, give it your all and fly by versus trying to close out to touch, basically? I mean, I think it's personnel based, obviously, for sure. Um, you know, there's guys out there that, you know, you can't let breathe and, and you got to be able to make them um, do other things but shooting because that's all they do. Um, and then there's there's also guys that can, you know, they can shoot a little bit, but then also can do other things. So I think those things you got to put them in consideration while doing it. And and again, it's game time decision sometimes, you know, and personnel based, you know, whatever the coach wants to do. Um, I think that's what we do. And, and if it's someone that, you know, kind of close short on, and then there's somebody that you know had to fly by on, and I think it's that 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 it's kind of hard sometimes when you're helping, um, making that decision. And then I feel like a lot of teams is like, you know, they pump faking a lot wall and like kind of sidestepping to shoot. Um, but again, we got we got to take some, you know, we we we, we can't take away everything. So yeah. um, you kind of have to play the percentage and hope that, you know, that one bounce shot is, is a less percentage than than just a straight out shoot. Uh, shot. I was gonna ask like. I'm guessing even since you came into the league, which is at the longest time in the world, guys have gotten better at either like pump faking, sidestepping. Usually before, like guys would take the dribble in. Like how frustrating is it for, you know, when you do fly by and guys are still able to keep their balance? So like it's, uh, what's yeah, that? It's tiring, it's tiring. Yeah, I hate, I hate it when, you know, you kind of give all the efforts that you have and then, you kind of sidestep you and, and, and score, you know, it looks, you look bad, like you're not doing what you're supposed to do. But again, um, you know, sometimes you got to take those percentages, percentages and, and, and like coach said, like finding that balance where, you know, sometimes you're just trying to find a way to get to the body and still, you know, not fly by, but kind of like get to their body and make sure that you don't shoot it. And then, um, so you're still there for the sidestep. So I think just figuring that out. Thanks, Pascal. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Final question for you goes to William Liu from Yahoo Sports Canada. Good morning, Pascal. Um, I was wondering, do you see some emergence, uh, do you see some similarities between the emergence of Chris Boucher right now and the run that he's on with when you broke onto the scene in 2019, 20, when it was like consistently every night you would give 20 and people were like, wow, look at Pascal. Do you kind of see some parallels there? Uh, again, I mean, I think I think Chris is doing a fabulous job, man. Like just um, for us on both ends, you know, blocking shots, you know, playing with energy, and then you know his three is going down. So um, definitely good for us, and, and and I'm proud of him. You know, everything that he's, he's been able to do, and um, you know, again, like I think once this team, like the story, you know, the history has always been about, you know, once you get that opportunity, if you go and run with it, you know, you're gonna have chances, and I think that's what he's doing right now. You know, he's he's playing. Uh, very well, you know, every single night, you know, our double doubles and, um, you know, 20 plus points. Like, I mean, he, he's doing it all. I'm proud of him. And I just wanted to keep keep going, man. Like, and, and again, don't don't have anything in your mind. Just go out there and play basketball and, and continue to just have that that um, energy and, and that he brings on the floor, both hands. And, um, you know, I think you'll be all right. And, and, and for you, you know, when you had that breakout year, your most improved season, um, you know, how long do you feel like it took between before teams really started like prioritizing you on the scouting report? Like you're like the, the you know second or third person that they focus on uh, in the scouting report. And then how long did you notice until the defense kind of changed how they played you, or even the kind of focus and intensity they played against you? Uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly when, but um, you know, I just think that again, as you get um, as you get like kind of like um, Notoriety, and, and you know, you become, you know, I mean, you score the way you are, you're doing. You know, people are gonna focus on you too a little bit. Um, and again, wow. with you know, we got other guys on the team that that can that can impact the game. So probably definitely giving you a little bit more space and and being able to be like kind of like open sometimes too. Um, so I think it, it took you know it took some time, but but again, you know, I think the more you play and 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 the more you you get better, you know, that's. You get that that type of attention, which is good. It means that you're working hard, and it means that you're going in the right direction. All right, thanks so much.